I'm Paul Husinga. This is the PRI Show. I'm here with Brandy from TBM Brakes. And last time we talked, we talked about circle track brakes. Now you've got new drag applications, but you were saying that these are pretty much a clean sheet, right? Right, about uh, a year and a half ago, we went out, we set out to kind of reimagine uh, what drag racing brakes could be. And what we came up with was a kit that is, uh, is not only lighter, but lasts a lot longer than a lot of our competitors' kits. So you've got a little bit of confidence in, in the uh, longevity of the parts you're making here, right? Yeah, we've got a lot of confidence, so much so that at the show today we're announcing that we're offering a lifetime warranty on our drag race brakes. And that covers all components of the system with the exception of pads for wear. Uh, rotors are covered uh, against warping and, and, and defects, but if you wear them too thin, then you got to buy the replacements. So it's pretty much uh, buy it once and stop worrying about it kind of situation. Exactly right, and that's the level of confidence we have in these kits. Now, what makes these different engineering-wise than some of the other brake kits we might see out there on the market? We start with the caliper, and we start to build the, the stiffest caliper we can. And what that allows us to do is have a brake system that runs cooler, which allows to run a lighter rotor, which allows to have brake kits with the, with the built aluminum hubs that weigh less than 20 pounds per axle. Oh, that's fantastic. And speaking of that, you've got hub mount and spindle mount for front brakes, correct? Exactly right. This is our hub mount kit with our lightweight billet hub. And then over here, we've got a spindle mount kit that mounts uh, both uh, strut applications as well as the spindle mount with standard style spindles. Now, what about rear brakes? What's your setup for that? Our rear brakes are, are, are fairly common. It's a hat and, uh, and rotor combination. We utilize our Revolution rotor and our, uh, our F3 caliper, which is a four-piston caliper. Now, speaking of the rotors, there's some very interesting engineering going on here as well. Uh, a lot of features that you don't normally see on brake rotors that you might be familiar with. Kind of step me through that a little bit. Exactly right. We developed this shape. This is our Revolution rotor. And we developed this shape about 20 years ago for the sprint car industry where weight is critical. And what we realized was that we could have a lighter weight rotor that lasted longer and stayed flat. These rotors will last two years on the back of a, uh, on the back of a sprint car. As a result, that's where our <laughs> confidence comes from for their life on, on the front of a drag car. And you're also using some of the technology from the sprint car stuff to build low drag calipers as well. Exactly right, and it all starts with having a caliper that's extraordinarily stiff. So we use we use all you know, forged materials, forged aluminums for the outer halves, and then we'll put steel in the center sections, which keeps the caliper rigid and allows the pads to retract fully. Now, if people want to find out more about applications, technology, all that good stuff, where can they go? TBMBrakes.com or give us a call at 805-987-STOP. Hey, put it in your speed dial. For Power Auto Media, I'm Paul Husinga. Keep it right here. There's a whole bunch more PRI stuff waiting for you to watch.